Mm -hmm. We're on Highway 90 in New Orleans at the edge of it, and that building right there looks like it could be old enough to have been here at that time. Wonder if they looked at that, I bet you they did, and commented about it, I bet you. This place reminds me a whole lot of Memphis. Unfortunately, very run down. Abandoned buildings everywhere. We're, st we're not going up on that, I don't think, are we? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we gotta go across. So this is Sh Chef Men Mentor, M-E-N-T-E-U-R -E -E Highway. And June said that Elvis recognized, he knew where he was on this road. So he knew how to find this next location. Of course, this is back before uh, GPS and all that kind of stuff. Now, this bridge, I don't know if it's original or not to that time period. It looks newer, but who knows? I don't think this road was four lanes wide like it is now. And most of these bridges have been replaced. So probably that side road right there was the actual road 90 at that time. So I can tell you how Elvis knew how to get to Pontchartrain Beach. That was, he played there about nine months before in September of 1955 out on the beach stage. This is photos from that day. You see Elvis on the right, WBOK in New Orleans. It was a hillbilly jamboree. The second annual, they only played there one time. This is another photo of Elvis that day. And lastly, I'll show you the actual stage where it was. It was actually out on the beach and the lighthouse would have been behind the stage to the far right out of the frame of this picture. And something else I found interesting was they were giving away something at this particular get together. And that was a week at the Dude Ranch at Gulf Hills in Biloxi where Elvis ended up nine months later. I wonder if there's a tie to that, if that's how he heard about it and ended up there with June. I bet you that's what happened. We veered off Highway 90, which is what June said that Elvis did. She said that he recognized the street and he said, hey, I know how to get to that amusement park. So he drove straight here. And I want you to look at something. We pulled up and it's no longer here. It's been destroyed and torn down. But look at this photograph right here. This is a photograph of of the park and I want you to look you see that lighthouse right there now see the lighthouse right there it is still here after all these years so that lighthouse would have been here when Elvis was here riding the roller coaster at Lake Pontchartrain what did they call this Lake Pontchartrain Beach it was Lake Pontchartrain Beach is what they called this. But I thought that's interesting that that is still there. Stay tuned. Something that's interesting is originally this lighthouse, the Port Pontchartrain Light or the Milneberg Lighthouse was built in 1832. The original structure was replaced with this structure in 1855 and you can see it was actually out over the water. It was moved to where it's at now and retired in 1929. This photo is from 1940, and you can see there's all kinds of buildings around it that are no longer in existence now. Really changed a lot, but still an incredible piece of Elvis history. He was there. This right here is the park you can see, and look at the shape of the water side where the beach is over there. Now I want you to look at this photograph. You see where we're standing. We're basically in the middle of the park. And they told us that that is, in fact, the only thing left that was here at the time that park was here. So Elvis no doubt saw that, and you can see that as opposed to the water. And that'll give you some perspective about where it was at. So friends, a newspaper reporter caught up with Elvis talking to a little five-year-old girl at Pontchartrain Beach on that Monday night. So the park is to the right right there. This is Lake Pontchartrain. That is the bridge that I showed you out there. Now we don't know which direction that they would have gone, but there's a good possibility he would have come right down the shoreline right here to go downtown. And they went downtown to where, Trey? To Bourbon Street first. They wanted to show Miss Presley. They drove down Bourbon Street. And then they went to um, the French Quarter and just showed her off uh, those uh, places that we're about to see. But we wonder what they did with the other 75 
percent of the French Quarter. I don't know what happened to it. We're we're gonna ask while we're down we're there. We're gonna find that out. Uh, we're gonna find that yeah. out. And here's another lock that's open, but they can close it if they need to. They can close it. 